So I'm, I'm a proud black trans man, period. I am who I am because I am. I exist because I was made to exist. I don't mind saying that I am the pastor for the trans community. I show up as a pastor, as a minister, as a trans black man. My name is Yunus Coldman. Um, my pronouns are he, him, his, and my title is Reverend, Associate Pastor, Pop, several different titles in the community, Elder. I've been around a minute. Pride for me is a gathering of everyone together in the community um, to let the world know, community know, people who need to know that we exist and that we exist in every part of the human experience. I will, I will admit I'm 65, so I'm, I'm a senior in the community. Um, and the way it has changed is we understood 30, 40 years ago that the Pride Parade was a result of a march, was a result of an incident, right? And it seems like that has gotten a little bit lost. It's very commercialized now. Um, there, there's, you know, there's a plus and a, a, a minus to that. It, it's no longer about marching. It, it's about parading, which is, which is um, unfortunate, I think, at times. One of the other things that needs to be, I, I think, called out in this instance is also what is happening with the trans community right now. Um, I'd be, I'd be, I would be remiss in not expressing that I am a minister, that, but I am also a transgender, transmasculine person. It isn't just about um, you know, gay marriage anymore. Now it's about death and destruction that is happening uh, in the trans community. So I'm, I'm a proud black trans man, period. I am who I am because I am. I exist because I was made to exist. It's I am who I am and I'm proud of that. And no one can really make me feel or try to make me feel less than or negative about that. Um, that my pride lies in the fact that I am created this way. That is one of the reasons why I'm a minister, you know, um, is to let people know that God loves us the way that we are. We were created this way um, and, and that there is no reason for us to feel any negativity about who we are. And if there are others feeling that way, well, they're the ones that need the education. We already know. We walk around in this skin and in this flesh the way that we are. We don't have a choice. Then there is that section of us, right, who are called to ministry for it. Um, and, and I think I'm one, I, I don't think, I know uh, I am that person that was called uh, to not only be a minister, but to be a minister to a particular population and group of people, um, LGBT um, at large, right, but specifically to the trans community. I don't mind saying that I am the pastor for the trans community. I show up as a pastor, as a minister, as a trans black man. I am an interfaith minister, right? So, so I follow many faiths, but my primary faith base is around um, being a follower of Jesus. But I also follow Buddha, right? Um, I also follow Muhammad, right? Um, so I, you know, I, I follow different faiths, right? But the Bible says, fail not to gather thyself. There's a reason, reason why one should be in the midst of like-minded, like-spirited, like emotional um, people so that you can get the support that you need um, uh, going forward and in this life and in, in, in the way the world is right now. We are trifold beings. We are body, mind, and spirit. And you, you need to take care of your spiritual self as well. Sometimes you can't do that just alone. You need guidance. Um, you need a church home or a mosque home or a ashram home. You need a home. My goal, and I think part of my calling, is to bring people back and let them know, no, God loves you. And if you don't never visit another church in your life, at least have some guidance from someone as to what you can do in your home, where you are, with your people. I would never go anywhere or pay any money to any place that's, is, that's gonna degrade me or make me feel less than. There are places to go. Never sub subject yourself to any organization or group or church, 
mosque any place that is going to uh, subjugate you. No, you don't, you don't need to be there at all. You're not, that, that's not God speaking, and yes, I can say that. That is not God speaking. Um, go where you're, where you're loved and where you can feel and experience the love of God as you understand God. I didn't transition until I was in my 50s. I, I haven't always been, you know, in that mode, in that, in that mindset. I knew that being a lesbian really wasn't it, but I didn't know anything else. And being 50, I don't even care. You know, could, do I wish I had done it younger? No, I did it when I was supposed to do it. And, and I'm grateful for it, that, I, that, that it's this time in my life, you know, that I have come to my full realization of who I am. Being black and being, and being, and pride and, and being all of that, right? I don't think there is a separation. We, we I think it's cohesive. I think it comes together. I think you can't have one without the other. You have, we are whole beings, right? So to, to just separate, you know, to put me in compartments, I, don't, I, I think for doing that to anyone isn't fair. We can't really separate those things. I'm black and trans and transmasculine. Um, I'm, I'm so, I'm a minister, I'm a human being, I'm spirit mostly, mostly that's who I am. I, I don't see it as coexisting, I see them as all being one. We are, we are people of love, we really are. Yeah, there's always going to be people that, you know, over aggressive, negative, all those kind of things, that's part of the human experience, right? But we are, we are here, we're not going anywhere, we've always been here. This is not a thing that just started in the 80s. <laughs> it isn't something that started with the hippies. We've always been, we're in the Bible. If anybody would choose to look, we've always been here. Love is the answer, but it's the love that, it, it is, for me, it's the love that Christ professed. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love ye one another. That is what I'm, I'm here to do and here to expose that what they're telling, what they're saying about us is not true. It is not true and don't believe it. So in that, let's get together. Let's come together and make it right and get it right. Not only for ourselves, but for our, for our youth who are suffering out there right now.